So you guys are welcome back from your long vacation. So let's um, finish this up and just know that we are done with this. I think this is the last um, segment of this uh, program. And that is uh, getting started with Upwork as a freelancer. So I find that a lot of people finding it difficult to create accounts in, in Upwork, but it shouldn't be difficult if you have been creating accounts in so many other applications like Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, it is just the same thing. So it's no just create account, manage account, and use your account to start applying for work. There is no big deal there. So now what I want us to first view this um, Upwork to see, I want to see the kind of jobs there before we hit. Let us just see how this Upwork uh, kind of works there. Now, let's see, let's search for virtual assistant. So, this is virtual assistant. And this is only in um, only in UK. So I'm going to turn this off so that this is because I'm here in UK. That's why it's bringing out the jobs in UK. I'll, I'm going to turn this to Google Global. So now we are global. So not uh, only in UK, is um, the job here is available to anyone around the world. And the main thing I want us to look is out here. This is what I want us to look. The amount of jobs found. So people complaining there is no job. There is job where people are not serious. You know, some people will just relax for the job to come. You go get the job, but the job is there. We have 9,880 jobs that are related to virtual assistants globally. So there is job. So this one is amazing virtual assistant admin to join successful virtual immigration law firm. So let's just look at this. You can see here, they are accepting application worldwide. So your location is not a barrier. So, and they need to hire two 
virtual assistant. We are looking to hire admin virtual assistant from Philippines with strong fluency in English. So here yeah, they made a, a, a specification is Philippines. So but one thing with Filipinos, <coughs> they are very cheap and they are very hard working. So SOP, I don't know what this SOP need. For well, this one, what they are looking is for someone to be converting document from PDF to Microsoft Word. So, and this is a kind of just, this kind of thing virtual assistant do. This one, they are looking for a real estate virtual assistant and they are paying $6 to $10 an hour. This one is personal assistant errand to Bogota Airport. So this one is retyping documents. So what they mean, they will screenshotting, they will doing a lot of screenshots and they will be typing them in what document. They are all virtual assistants. Admin support, all this, they all, they, you see document retyping, is, there's a lot of them here. But these people they specify they were looking for Filipinos. This one is Amazon Expert Virtual Assistant. So So that is it. It's just the main thing is for you guys to know that there is a job you can just get started with. So that's the main point I'm trying to, to make here. And now the one thing is that most of these jobs you are seeing are fresh, fresh jobs. Like I need in need of a virtual assistant, five to four dollars an hour. This job we just posted two hours ago. You know, this one two hours ago. So, virtual personal virtual secretary just two hours ago, they all virtual assistants. This one three hours ago. Virtual medical, all virtual assistant. Shopify content pro, all virtual assistant. So this one, Amazon listing, they're also working in an um, e-commerce, just like I told you people that e-commerce job, still virtual assistants. And this is just three hours. So let's get back to the the main thing for today. So.
So creating um, account in uh, Upwork, let's go through the st steps for us to get our account created. So the first thing we need to do is uh, looking at this itemization here is uh, first you go to Upwork, click sign off, then you sign up using your email, either Apple, Google, or any email account. Then add your personal information. Start your work profile by telling about the work you do. Highlight your educational background. Highlight your past work experience. Add language proficiency. Set your rates indicate your title and overview, add profile or to add your contact detail, preview your profile before submitting and that is it. So, and the first thing is go, you go to Upwork here, you click sign up, sign in then when you do that we're going to ask you to join as either um, a client hiring uh, workers or as a freelancer looking for work so you choose as a freelancer looking for work and when you've done that then to ask you to um, sign in using your email and you create your password. And then it will bring you in. Um, this is the same thing with the other one. So you sign in with your email, you select your country, and that's it and then you hit create account then you need to select your level of experience if you are just entry level or you are an intermediate or you are expert you select your entry your level. For instance, if you are if you are trying to work as a virtual assistant, you select your level. If you are relatively new to this, or well, for me, I will select intermediate. Even if I'm starting, so say getting started. Um, here you select categories. When you do that, you need to select the categories of the kind of uh, work you need to, you are looking for. So here is the kind of this thing you are going to select. You have mobile development, web development, and the rest of them. When you select all these things, um here i clicked project management but for you that want virtual assistant this is where what you are going to select virtual assistant you fill out this form as it con consigns you and you hit um save and you continue to your educational background this is where you put your school, your level of education, if you have whichever one you put it here. Just like you see here, the University of Westminster, data attended degree, and area of study, and you, you feel you submit. Then you come over here, you select your skills within like 
for for me the I'm, I'm working on project management so i'm selecting all these project management skills to showcase the kind of skills i have and i'll then submit and after then employment history you put in your employment history here and you submit then you have to indicate your level of english proficiency like you, you select english select proficiency if you are fluent if you are a starter which i believe all of us are fluent in english language and then set your hourly rate so i can work more than 30 hours per week. So if less than 30 hours you select, then overview. On this overview, you need to kind of uh, put your um, uh, a brief note about yourself you know just briefly about yourself that looking here i just said uh, with a brief statement it's like a cover note if you're applying for work with a cover note i'll help the employer to know you talk about yourself and then you put your profile picture it's better to use a very professional profile picture because the way a picture will, will determine how how you look your look the determine the kind of person you are so and then you put your contact info your name and their email which you done at the beginning so and then location you put your address and your phone number then here you preview before you submit you click here to see how it's going to look from when somebody is seeing it from outside before you so if you have any mistake you made you you have the time to correct it before you submit although if you submit you can always edit your profile anytime there is no limit of how many times you can edit it and that is it simply that is the you've created an account and when you've created an account the next thing is to, to start applying for work to start applying for work you need to start writing proposals and to write a proposal these are quick steps on how to write a proposal it's going to be a quick straight forward greeting and intro introduction following followed by a concise restatement of the client's core need or problem a clear statement that tells the client that you can solve their problem and that you can start right away. A short pitch, preferably two or three sentences, telling the prospective client exactly why you are an excellent fit for the job. A brief but detailed description of the method and process you will use to approach the project and the provide excellent uh, service attach attachment such as relevant document file or sample of work or link to your portfolios demonstrating your past projects related to the client's need your propo proposal does 
doesn't need to be lengthy as long as it confirms you understand the problem and show that you can solve it. Always aim for brief, clean, and concise writing. Typically, everything you need can be expressed in three short paragraphs. So that is uh, how you can write a proposal when you're applying for work. And it's better that you don't just use one proposal to send for so many works. Because all the clients, their problem are not the same. They might be looking for a, a virtual assistant, but what they want the virtual assistant to do is different. So when you're applying for a particular job, try to understand what they are doing. Don't, not just you see virtual, that's why so many people are not getting jobs, are getting called. Because once they just do their proposal, they will just be copying it. Virtual assistant firm have applied. Virtual assistant firm have applied. Not checking whether you are the, the, the proposal is tailored to the need. It's better that you apply to only one job or two jobs and that your apply application is very clean and straight to the job. Then you, you submitted the 20 application that is not relevant to the job. So you need to make sure that you configure your, your proposal to the need of that particular job, what the, the stakeholder is looking for. You use their job specification to write the proposal, make sure the proposal aligns with what they are looking for. That's the easiest way for you to get job or get notice. So don't use simple um, general proposal to be sending all the jobs. So trying to send a proposal, this is um, a sample of a proposal in case you are going to struggle to write a proposal. This is a sample. So because uh, it's very easy to write a proposal called, that is still up to your need, more especially in a virtual assistant is a very easy one. So there is no need of me trying to say, I'm going to write a proposal for you. But with this sample and with this explanation, you can draft a proposal for yourself. This um, said, hi, I would love to be a freelancer, freelance writer, and help you execute your website content strategy. I have five years of experience writing content for websites, including Forbes.com, uh, Boostfeed.com, and more. Below, I have links. I've linked two samples that showcase my writing ability in a similar niche to your brand. As you can see, I understand your audience and know how to write compelling article to get your website visitor to purchase your product. I can complete 1,000 web article within a two-day turnaround time. Will that work for you? Will that work for your need? Let me know if my writing meets your expectation and we can set up a time to talk about your project in more detail. Example, website content links and the second links, thanks. And you put your name, so. Then these are some mistakes that you should try to avoid so that you won't be start from the beginning, start complaining of sending application. Some people always telling me there is, there is high level of 
Okay, there's a lot of people looking for this job. A lot of people are looking for this job, but a lot of people are not doing the right thing. So you can't just uh, uh, be giving excuses because high competition, that's why. It's because we are not getting it. It's not because of the competition. It's because of you. You are not getting it well. Because people are getting job on in Upwork every day. So the mistakes here are creating a winning proposal always comes with down, comes down to understanding what the job entails before start, starting a proposal for the project. With that said, there are a few things to avoid when submitting proposal for jobs or not work. Don't use proposal template. Template is it that you see a template, you just copy it and you start using it. Template should be a guide for you to craft your own. If your proposal isn't well crafted, it won't get you jobs. When the time becomes an issue, many freelancers, especially beginners, resort to copying and paste and paste a template to save time writing proposal. Why this method may save many hours of writing, you may start skipping the job description and applying robotically. This is not good idea before, uh, because every client, uh, because every client and jobs are unique. So this is what um, I've just explained earlier. Yeah, clients themselves can easily spot a pre-made proposal because it usually fails to connect with their need on a deeper level. Using a template can significantly decrease your chances of winning jobs as they provide less personalized idea and suggestion. Using templates also puts you at risk of developing the habit of not fully understanding the client's need and scope. So, This template should be a guide. Don't just come here and put your name here. Um, oh, Amaka. And just uh, because this is well written, you just put your name here. You've got a proposal for, for virtual assistant, you'll be firing it. Firing it. No. It will help you to understand that to write a proposal, you just need like three paragraphs in your own. And then understand how to use this to configure it to the particular need of the client, not the particular need of this. Just use this to tailor it if he's in a law firm, know how you can configure your own experience to meet the, that law firm within this structure. And that's it. So that's um, it's very simple. It's not a, it's not a, a big deal. So this is the easiest, um, the, 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 the lowest job anyone can get in the internet. So it shouldn't be a headache. And I don't see the reason why some people are sweating to get a virtual assistant job in Upwork after series of training. Let's see if we can um, actually set up an account. Yeah, in real in real time.
So let's see sign up. Signing up. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we're applying as a freelancer. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. I'll put my email is going to be. Upwork demo at techno dot com and I put the website um Okay, and uh, let me just continue with you, okay? And I understand the terms and condition. Yeah, and then <clears throat> I create. said verify your email to proceed so what this means is that i mean <clears throat> they shall sure send a link for to this upwork demo account so I need to verify this in order to proceed. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's a company email. What, what I'm going to do is um, Uh, let's see. Webmail, webmail, webmail.
Okay, I'm sorry for me. So this is the email here. So I need to verify it for us to continue. So I've created my account. Now, I hope you guys are seeing my screen. Yes, sir. You can see my yes. name, my name here. Hey, can you ready for your next big opportunity for upgrade? So the next thing is for me to go to my profile and start working on my profile. So Uh, how would you like to tell us about yourself? Import from LinkedIn, from resume. So now add title to tell us. Say. Then next, I have only about work experience added here. So, so have work experience. Let's add it here. Let's see. Virtual assistant. Uh, 
company as a Out. Location we say London. Yeah, currently working here. So January, Kazan, present, I'll say, Okay, add your education. Yes, the University of Westminster B as a Bachelor of Arts A Mass Communication. Now oh, I've added my education and next my language English level fluent and I will just pick my skills. So let's say Suggested skill, virtual assistant, let's see. Project well, 
Policy, copywriting, Time management, events, event management, marketing, So you select at this point, you select various skills that's within a um, virtual assistant. Can someone suggest any skill we have we've treated in virtual assistant? Mm. We've done, we've treated a lot of skills in virtual assistance. So start listing them for me. Social media management. Okay. Social okay. media. Social media. Social media advertising. Mm hmm more more skills um, data entry and presentation data entry Data entry, yes. Any other one? Customer work? care. Huh? Customer care. Email and calendar management. Okay. Customer. Customer engagement. Customer management. Customer relationship management, email, and calendar management. Okay. Email. Mm -hmm. Let's say calendar management. So here's that thing. Yes. Oh, 
Doc is not recognized here. I said transcribing. Okay. Transcription. Or rather transcription. Transcription. Audio transcription. Yeah, you we'll have um so this is are the skills you have to find all these core skills in a virtual assistant, you need to list all of them here. They are going to help you, you know? But well, let's continue. You can come back later and uh, even add more, but it cannot exceed 15 skills. So then we'll continue. So describe yourself. So this is time you talk about your, yourself, and uh... so if as I won't be writing details here, yeah, just um just I at least sixty. I don't have time to start writing this as I just copied, but you know you need to write um what they call it um a cover note here. So that's what we are going to put here. So so don't copy and paste what I did here. You need to craft a cover note that describe describe you very well. So and you continue. So but you can always edit any part of this. So what are the main services you offer? So So from here, admin support, customer care. So this is it here. And then customer care. Yeah, I think this is enough for now. Then set your rates. How much are we going to be charging? Let's see.
because we are starting, we don't need to go and start being so courses. We just need something. So I'll see. Yes, it's best it's like for you to decide what you want to charge. But we've seen the range. They are, they are charging what the range is. Within the job, we browse, we'll see the range. So for me, if I'm starting as a virtual assistant, I'll just write $5 an hour as a start rate. And photo. So I don't have any photo for now. Country set. And these ones are very important. You saw this one with Asteris address. Um, city. And that's it. I will upload pictures later. And let's see. I need picture. Okay. Let me go to my
Seven, five, eight. Into eight, nine, eight, one, eight. Okay, let me verify the phone number. Yeah, they'll send the verification code and I'll put it to one zero zero. Five seven, and I'll verify my phone number. Uh, it is verified now, and now I can check my profile. So I have successfully created my virtual assistant account. So so anytime I want to edit my account, I will just come here. Like now I want to edit this one I copied and paste. I'll just come here, click edit and edit it. If I want to edit this I will, uh, amount of money, I will edit it. If I want to edit these skills here, I'll come here and edit it. If I want to edit work experience, I will come here and edit it. So everything here is editable. So that is it. And so I've um, submitted everything. So make any edit you want, then submit your profile. Your profile. You can make more changes after it's live. Yeah. So we are submitting now. And we'll click here to we'll submit. Nice work. Okay. Congratulations with your new profile. Upwork will begin matching you with what aligns within your skills. So, go to project dashboard. So, now I've created my Upwork account. As a, as a virtual assistant, and yeah, so that's it. So So if 
I want to build a project, um, this is where I will build my project. Um, project uh, page where I can uh, they can come and start seeing the kind of work I've done. But outside that, we can, can start looking for, for work, but I see complete your profile. So that's what is not. You're almost done. So this is how we are going to continue to refine it till we finish and get what we want. So this is how our account is going to be looking like. If somebody is viewing our account, maybe an employer is viewing our account. So so everything is still sketchy. We've not added much. If we by the time. We, we we'll add more stuff here. Here is for messages. There's a report. So if you start working this way, we'll be seeing how much you'll be earning and the rest of them, but nothing yet. So there's still more things we need to do. The college ones are the ones that are completed. So for here, there's no employment history.
I filled all these things from the beginning. I don't know why you didn't take the promise. Do it again. Well, this all these protocols is something I will not have time to do. You people have to figure out how to do all these things. But the only thing is that all this field needs to be filled. So I don't have time to start filling all of them now. So it's some what you guys have to start doing. I'm giving people a guide to do it. So with what we've done, we are 80% completion. So we keep on refining it, adding more things till you get what you want so that it can start allowing you to start applying because as you can see, we can't apply until our profile is 100% complete, but when we still in 80% completion, like now if you want to apply now, you see, it's telling us, so,
So that is it. Yeah. Because of time, I might not continue because I've got other appointments now. But follow this process and create your account and keep refining it till you get to 100%. As you can see, there is no hard work in doing that. Get your account set up, then you have to keep refining your accounts drafting your profile and make it look rich maybe i'll i'll make out time to get the complete cv where you can help you with all the skills and everything that needs in business and um, for virtual assistant but it's not a promise because you guys need to do some work as well so I think we need to stop here. The main thing we've created account. We have to work on our account for some time to make it perfect before we start using it. So, yeah. So, any question for now? Yeah, I yeah, I'm listening. I said no question from my end. No, somebody is raising her. Okay. Okay. I want to ask, can we add our offline work experience to this uh, Upwork profile? Yeah, you can add any experience that is related to what not anything, but any experience that is related, you think that is going to boost your your skills within. Not you start putting irrelevant work experience. Anything that is related to what to virtual assistant, you can't go and start telling them you. Know, you are a first lady. They don't know what is first lady. You know? So, for any administrative work you've done, if you know how you can configure your admin, but it's mainly better to put experience within um, something that the, the employer can easily verify. And that's why I've created so many of these uh, applications so that you can just put, um, I'll put you people, so you people who have access to establish some, some of these are, at least even if it's writing blogs, of all these our websites, you can create your work here as a blogger or as a content creator or this and that. These are the kind of experience they are going to be looking for. Verifiable because the people you are talking to mainly are foreigners. They don't understand our local jobs. But any local job, you can still bring them, you can add as many jobs as you, you can, but let it be relevant. All the work experience should be relevant. If you are, if you see you are working offline, offline job, it must be pure administrative jobs that can benefit what you are, what is uh, needed within the skills of a virtual assistant. So that is the answer to your question. Thank you, sir. Yeah. But the main thing is start create account first and we'll start refining the account. So maybe next time we'll have time to meet. I want to see everybody's account. After all, we are not many here. So everybody should be able to show their account and we'll see how it is. So we we'll have to start. There is no need of running like dodging after the training and 
You are scared of creating an account here. It doesn't make sense, you know. So, okay, sir. Yeah. So I'll make a time to come back here so that everybody will show me the account, and I will figure out how we start uh, placing you people. Um, you start working online, so um, mainly creating for now is going to be mainly creating content. Like, say, here we have a lot of, um, like in this, uh, let me share my screen. Like here, this uh, this our school. We have um, a blog here where one can start practicing how to do this. We have a blog here, but nobody is managing this blog. You know, nobody is managing this blog. And one can start doing it. This one too. Um, we have a blog here. You can see. But we don't have anyone managing this block. It's still one post here. Well, these are some of the things. If you can share what will be, if you can be writing powerful, powerful blogs, articles here, and show, because when you'll be writing any article you write here, we show um, maybe a name can appear. You are the, the writer of the article. It's, it can be a good start. And we have um, this. Like this, we have a um, social media account where we are not um, managing. So we need someone that can manage this as well. And for now, we don't have anyone doing this, uh, managing this. We just So So we can start from all these small, small work, these are the kind of work virtual assistance um, does. 
And this can be a good start for us. We are building these pages and Oh. We need somebody who will help us with all these creating engaging posts and the rest of them. This is where we'll be. This one too. So. Like this page is fast growing. It's not up to one month. We started building this page and we already have 1,064 followers. So these are the terms. Well, you can start building your CV. We are working what we are doing as a virtual assistant that can attract employ, that can attract potential clients. You know how to build a page, social media. So these are the things I'm looking at. Some of you starting and um, Equally, a project like this will have some upcoming projects can work as a, a project um, support. So, but most of these projects now we are close. <coughs> yeah, they are. We are closing them up. All well, these ones are closed. So we're having one once we're having more projects coming up, then we'll start see, thinking of how some of you can work as project support officers. But the easiest one that we can start is blogging and yeah, we we'll have two two companies here. You can start as a content creator, this one and this one. So. so over your email, send me your preference, where do you want? Is it as a, you want to work as a social media or as a as a content creator, as a blogger, or let me know. So I'll still come and optimize this. I don't have time now, but this is just a demo account. So.
So, if you don't have any other questions, I think uh, we've done something for this night. Yeah. I will I'll document this video and upload it to the course portal. So you can go there and watch it.